welcome to our first ride in Mauritius. It's about 40 degrees, we're melting, we're lost on some farm roads, but the sun's out and it's amazing. Daisy's on her new bike, we'll show you that in a minute. This place is awesome, uh, most of the island is pretty flat so you can see the mountains in the distance, absolutely stunning. It's nice to get out and have a little bit of an explore. We were in a little resort yesterday but it's nice to um, ride out and get a feel for the place. That's gone slightly white. Your giant mosquito bite. The girl, it's just rock hard and my hand is bent. We got a little bit burnt yesterday. I'm We're the stereotypical English tourists. I've just got like white. <laughs> but uh, where are we? Lost? Uh, yeah. Should we go that way? You said left. No, that way. Is it? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. It's up this way. It is very, very hot today. So we've taken a seat in this shady bus shelter. Uh, could just get a bus, you know. Now we'll ride. Lovely route so far. I haven't seen a single tourist for the last hour. Using our precious water, we're gonna get stranded out here, Daisy. God, so red. I know, I can feel it. <laughs> you don't think that's burn, is it? What, your face? Yeah. No, you're just red. It's just 50 degrees. Everything hurts. Why don't we go and see this? Is he gonna hit him in the head with that tray? Why, I gotta. today's video suffered a little bit because for the first hour of today's ride the inside of my camera was completely steamed up like condensation because we left the air-conditioned hotel room came out here it's like 40 degrees the element of the lens just went completely foggy I had to take the camera apart and ride with it into the wind to get it to fix itself lesson learned put the camera outside a bit before going for a ride we've changed direction got a little bit of a tailwind slightly downhill Daisy's on the front two up TT all the way home I'm not sure what the cycling scene is like out here but on the way in I did see a guy wearing lycra shaved legs long socks pro you know because you are Okay, so we finished the hottest, windiest ride ever. The moment you have all been waiting for, Daisy's new bike. This is the Vidia Yena Hybrid. So it's actually an e-bike. That is the big reveal. So when we do inevitably do some bike packing trips together, bike's fully loaded, she'll be able to put the battery in and we're gonna be able to ride the same speed, which is really handy. For a trip like this, when we're just doing local rides, normal ones, um, you can whip the battery out. The back wheel is slightly heavier than a normal one, but the majority of the weight is in the battery because it's the whole down tube. So as soon as you whip that out like we have, pretty much weighs the same as mine. This is the alloy wheeled version. So these are Villiers own branded wheels, tubeless if you want them to be. These are set up tubed with Vittorias, whatever these gravel ones are. We've got Shimano GRX disc brakes on it. They're both 160s. Shimano GRX one by as well. So only this lever has controls, a mechanical version, unlike mine. The one by system has a 40 tooth front ring and big, it's like an 1142 or something on the back. Quite a big range of gears, clutch rear mech, no front mech. We've kitted it out with Fidlock bottles. It's also got mounts on the forks, just like mine. So if you want to fit bottles on there, you can. This is what the rear hub looks like. So you can notice it if you're riding behind someone, but uh, from the side, you really can't tell. And it's so quiet when the battery's on. We tested it a little bit at home. If you were riding in a group, you wouldn't be able to hear it. Little carrying pouch from Skin Grows Back under a physique saddle. This is one of the women's ones and it does work quite well for Daisy. When the battery is connected, this is the control to change between the levels of assistance. Obviously, it doesn't do anything right now. 39 centimeter handlebars. These are the Richie ones. Richie finishing kit. As some viewers of the channel will have noticed, this bike fits Daisy a lot better than a road bike. So a few spaces under the stem. Shimano SPDs, because we're doing a bit of gravel on it. Easy to clip in and out of, and you can walk around in your shoes. I think that's pretty much it. You're hiding from the sun. Probably more burnt now. I'm also sat on a load of thorns. But it's fun. And uh, it's like, even though it is an e-bike, it's not, I don't feel like I'm cheating the system that much. It just makes it slightly easier to ride with people. Or people who ride a lot more than you. Yeah, because I can't, I don't really ride because of work. And now we can do a hundred miles if we want. It's great. Yeah. Because like, it stops at 25 kilometers an hour that I would be riding that average anyway. Just means uphill, I'm not like dropped straight to the back. <laughs> but it's not like one of those bikes you see with that fucking motor, <laughs> like a like a motorbike. How does it feel to ride when you haven't got the battery in? You could tell there's a bit of weight in the back wheel where the motor is, but then because I've got a big cassette, uh, I have a lot more ability to climb. It's easier than climbing on my road bike. The one by is good, right? Not good going downhill though. No, you run out of gears quite quickly, right? Very spinny. <laughs> Every day the forecast here says it's gonna rain all day. And then it never does. It rains for 15 minutes, absolutely chucks it down, and then it's sunny all day. I think it's about to rain now. Ominous. I'd be quite happy if it rained. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, 
I'm really not very good at being on holiday. I like to be doing stuff all the time. I like to have a goal. But being in this situation, maybe it's a bit of a blessing. I was thinking about saying myself, quite a cool challenge. Just come for a quick walk down to the uh, seafront. Now I've racked up quite a few miles on the bike in the last six months without much of a break at all. I'm gonna knock down the amount of intensity I'm doing because in two weeks time, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work with Vilia and Astana and well, it's gonna involve quite a bit of riding. I was thinking to myself earlier, how am I gonna keep fit without riding my bike too much? And the solution involves a different pair of shoes. Nice steady run. I haven't been for a run for probably six years. The last time I did, no training whatsoever, and I couldn't walk for three days. I'm not gonna make that mistake this time. I'm gonna ease into it, maybe half hour today. I've got commute running so I can see the distance and speed, and we'll see how far I get. Mauritius doesn't really have pavements, so I'm on the road. Just following the coast for now, so I don't get too lost. Mauritius is a lot more hilly when you're on foot. How hard can running be for a cyclist? Quite hard. Makes feeling like absolute jelly. I was kind of expecting this though. Last few K, I've actually seen a few cyclists out here. I guess they come out a little bit later to avoid the heat. Next time we do a ride, I'm gonna make sure it's really early in the morning, avoid that midday sun, because this morning was just unbearable. I couldn't see the distance because I wasn't going fast enough for it to engage on the app, which is a bit annoying. I feel all the same, so happy with how the legs were. It's well hard for cycling. Don't ever go running. <clears throat> I forgot my running shoes for here, so. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, there's a. This is made for drone flying. It's completely safe. Promise. Should we go and get a recovery drink? I mean, I'll, I'm having a recovery drink from, from my run. Yeah, you I can ride. have a recover from the ride this morning. I did 300 more meters of riding than I ever do. We can do the Met Helmets recovery drink, which is. Exactly. 